using the complex app of a Casio FX8200AU, a range of complex number calculations can be performed, including calculations involving the argument and conjugate of complex numbers and conversions between complex numbers in different forms. To perform such calculations, first navigate to the complex app using the arrow keys and then open it by pressing OK. It is most common to calculate the argument of a complex number in radians. As you can see from the small d on the top of the screen, my 8200 is currently using degrees as its angle unit. To change this to radians, press the settings key, arrow right to open the calculation settings, arrow down and right to open the angle unit settings, arrow down to radians and select it by pressing OK. This done, use the back arrows to exit the settings. To find the argument of this complex number, first enter the argument command, which is found in the catalog. Arrowing right for complex, arrowing down to argument, and choosing the command by pressing OK. To enter a complex number, use the numerical keys, and, when I is required, enter it by pressing Shift and the 9 key. To finalise the argument command, close the brackets and press Execute. To convert Z into polar form, now that we know its argument, one way would be to find its modulus or absolute value, a command that can be found in the catalogue under numeric calculations. Alternatively, a complex number's form can be converted from rectangular to polar form or from polar to rectangular form using the format key. To do this, first enter Z as before. and then convert by pressing Format, arrowing down to Polar Form, and pressing OK or Execute. To do a more involved calculation, like the conjugate of Z minus Z squared, it can be handy to have already entered Z, as I have done at this point, and then it can be called up via the Answer key as required. Start with the conjugate command, found in the catalog, arrowing right for complex, arrowing down to conjugate, and choose it by pressing OK. Now enter Z minus Z squared using ANTS in place of Z. Interestingly, the answer is 1 minus I, which is the complex number we started with. This is not the case in general, as can be confirmed by repeating this calculation for other values of Z.